Hey guys, what's up? Giving up 96 here, doing another opening for you guys today. Today we got another Zobi unboxing. This is our Zobi uh, Horror Director's Cut box. So uh, as you guys saw last last week, we did end up opening the Zobi XL Horror Box. This is their standard box. This is your I think $48 box if you're a supporter, $60 if you're not, and then like, I think 10 bucks shipping. So it's a very good price, very good value. So let's open her up and see what we got inside here. First things first, we're greeted to a t-shirt, nice black shirt, and it's our basket case item. It's like a coroner's report of Belial, uh, Dwayne, Dr. Needleman, and Dr. Cutter. It doesn't have Dr. L Lifter? I don't remember what the name was. I think it's Dr. Lifter because it's something stupid like one... Needler, Needleman is the guy that injects them. Cutter, Cutter is the girl that removed them. And then uh, Lifter is the one that picks the body up or whatever his name is. But uh, it's pretty ridiculous. So next we got our pen. Sorry, I'm filming the opposite way I usually do. So this is weird for me. Uh, that's from Dr. Sleep limited out of 500 let's take a look at it number 362 out of 600 can't get that to show up well Anyway, it's 362. It's cut. That's really cool. It's, uh, you got Rose the Hat, Danny, and I can't remember her name. The little girl. Is it Aurora? No, it's not Aurora. But, um, yep, and then it's in the shape of, like, the overlook pattern on the wall. Uh, next here, this is our comic book. This is The Forgotten Isle, issue two. Unfortunately, I haven't got the last two, uh, the last two boxes, so I didn't get The Forgotten Isle one. I'll have to try to find a regular copy if there is one um next our art print we got number 259 out of 650 and this is annabelle as you can see that's uh the demon that possesses the doll um that came when the Parents tried to resurrect their daughter, and it wasn't their daughter. Uh, next in here is a 8x10. Boom. This is Mariana Hagen. Um, this is the Strode from uh, Halloween 6. This is really cool. Um, the poster art. Uh, Halloween 6, I really enjoy it. A lot of people don't. I really like the whole wounds thing and the reason for Michael wanting to kill his family. Uh, I think it's a great film. So I'm very happy to have Mar Ma Mariana, Ma Marion? Or Mariana? Mary. I'm thinking that's Marianne Hagen. Last but not least, well, let's check and see what the rest of this is. Oh, here's our uh, 
signed card from JR talking about the themes. It says, Tales from the Crypt. Hello, creeps. I'm glad you have joined us for the release of this Zobie Fright Pack. I hope it doesn't scare you too much. Ha 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 ha. And it features the Crypt Keeper, the doll, and the shape. And as you can already see, we've already gotten um, our the doll item and the shape item, and then we got the Doctor Sleep item. So I think we might know what this is. Uh, we got ten dollars off our next purchase with JSA. Limit one offer per order. That's cool. Uh, but anyway, let's. Uh, take a look and see what one what we got that's super cool all right that's a uh, John Kaser the Crypt Keeper um, he's got his fingers all cut up because he removed them with a cleaver uh, Otto's right there this is a really cool print I really like this um, John Kaser you actually may know from other things uh, this could have been a cool animation auto too because he's also the voice of uh, Buster Bunny from um, Buster Bunny from Tiny Toon Adventures and he's also uh, the voice of Miko from uh, Pocahontas he's the raccoon he makes the noises for the raccoon so let's go in here and see the options. Oh, there was some really cool prints for uh, for John Kaser. I like the one that I got, but there was some really, really cool ones. Look at these. That one's really cool. I really like the one we got, but this one by a pinball machine would have been fantastic. I really like that one. Uh, Marianne Hagen, who plays uh, Kara Strode. It's not Mariana, it's Marianne. Ironically, I have this print coming from J.C. Brandy. So I was kind of hoping to get this print, but either way, I'm pretty happy. Uh, we got the two art print pins. Um, you could have got the one that I got, or out of 100, which features the Overlook... Um, carpeting a rose the hat hat and the um well, i guess the essence of fear that they that sorry i'm a fan of uh onyx the fortuitous uh andrew bowser's things and all i can think of is uh he calls it steam suckers the movie so it reminds me of the steam uh we got the Forget Bin and Isle. Forgotten Isle, number two. There was two different choices, uh, op, two different shirts, and the red variant only had a hundred. Honestly, I'm happy with the black shirt, so I'm cool with that. The artist, uh, that's hand signed, we got that, just so. I'm curious if this is who we usually get. I can't tell. And it doesn't have um, anything stating it. But anyway, <laughs> $10 off um, Spence. And this Easter egg would have been fantastic. Um, it's an exclusive fan art metal card for from a uh, card uh, that's inspired by the Crypt Keeper by Josh Lyman, which is super cool. Look at that. That's awesome. But overall, I'm very happy with this box. I cannot complain. The John Kaser autograph is fantastic. Worth the box alone. Worth the box alone, in my opinion. And then on top of that, you get Marianne Hagen, uh, who's Kara Strode. That's also fantastic. I'm very happy with that. So this box is a home run all the way. Good job, uh, 
Zobi, uh, Adi, Josh, JR, Zach. You guys are all doing fantastic. Sorry if I missed any names. I'm still not 100% sure who's all there, but you guys are doing awesome. Thanks again, guys. Bye.